Don't hurry here. Back at you. Hey, other thing that's that's from this week that people don't ask me. And this whole natural thing and all that. Okay, you can't hear what's in my head, but I'm going to tell you. Don't discredit my hard work. Do you understand me? And for all y'all that's out there that's working hard, don't let nobody discredit your hard work. I don't say much. I'm humble 99.9% .9 of the time until you piss me off or you try to prove me that you're better than me. But that ain't going to happen. But I'm competitive. It's in my nature. Why is that? I asked that a question. That's a whole other thing. But don't discredit my hard work. Now, this is what you don't know. I got in trouble a lot as a youth. Till I discovered that I'm not a bad, I'm not a good bad guy. I did the stuff that the neighborhood kids did. You did the stuff that kids did as you live and learn. Should I have done some, some of it that I know better? Yes, in many situations. For whatever reason, I wanted to play stupid. Till I got to the point where, you know, luckily I had some, some people that took care of me and looked out for me. But... A lot of times, I was locked away in my room. So for whatever reason, I found this little orange book. Hopefully, I'm going to do a movie or a story or something about it. It's kind of how I began. I had to be about eight or nine years old. And I kept this little book on my bed. And it was basically workouts. It was exercises. Pull-ups, sit-ups, crunches, jump, uh, arches. You know, just doing different things physically. Physical fitness. All I remember is it being an orange little book, the little dude in there looked like the little characters off of the Disney when they show how, how to work out and looked exactly the same to me. So I followed that book. So every time I got in trouble and I was in increments of two weeks at a time, I would sit there and do push-ups, pull-ups, crunches. When I was pissed off at my mother for locking me in a room, I just do it till I fell asleep. So from nine years old until damn near 15, that's what I did. I did a lot of body weight training. Did I know what I was doing? No. That was my release. When my mother left, my man was Dominique Wilkins. Because everybody keep thinking, okay, oh, yeah, you can jump. You, got, you know, that's natural. I worked for it. Now, the only thing that was natural was these big old hands and these big old feet. By the age 12, I wore a size 13. My hands, I could always palm a ball. By that 7th, 8th grade, I could palm a regular size basketball. That was natural. But I used to, in the house, I had a goal. Once again, we're not that intelligent. I had a goal to put a hole in the ceiling with my head. And I kept jumping every day, all day, anytime my mother left me at home, till I put a hole in the ceiling. And once I put a hole in the ceiling, I blamed it on myself for throwing the basketball at the ceiling. I said I bounced the ball and I hit the ball or something. Now, did my mother know that? Of course not. If she looked at this, probably know now. But that's what you don't know. The work that was put in before I got to where I was. So to me, the reason I train kids and what I do, I think you can develop certain talent into professional athletes. Not all, but some. Like I said, my dad's 6'2". I'm 6'3 and 3 quarters. 6'4". So, big hands, big feet. That's pretty much what's going to be an athlete. Mom's an athlete. Softball, swimming. Yeah, did they introduce me to sports? Not at all. My homeboys did. The dudes in the neighborhood. The kids in the neighborhood we played with. Played football, street ball. On the concrete, messing up people's cars. Running up and down the hills. In the grass. Basketball all day, every day. Soccer all day, every day. We go from soccer to daggone basketball to football all within the day. Yeah, the generations change. But don't discredit my hard work. I wasn't allowed to lift weights until I was 15. Once I was allowed to lift weights when I turned 15, that's when the monster was set loose. I could dunk a basketball in the eighth grade. Why? Because I had an aspiration of being like Dominique Wilkins. And every time I seen Dominique Wilkins, he was dunking on people. So all I wanted to do in basketball was dunk on people. So I figured the only way I can do that is by jumping and jumping and jumping. So every day I tried to dunk till I finally got it. I wasn't a consistent dunker until probably my sophomore to junior year. 
and I think really my sophomore to junior year because I was allowed to lift weights I got stronger physically I thought it was all calf muscles I'm working my calves I'm working my calves I had these big old calf muscles and I really still couldn't bounce because I didn't have explosion my calves had got bigger muscular wise but I didn't have explosion then I read some other book oh speed and strength comes from your back if you want to jump and rebound so I started working on my back then eventually I ran into Coach Singleton he was like look man you got to be a complete athlete you're a good athlete you got to do this and I listened to him I followed directions the bigger faster stronger program which I still use I modified it because I have my own philosophies now but that was my beginnings so that's what I train kids on that's what I still use don't discredit my hard work when I got to Dell State they kept telling me I was slow but yet nobody could catch me so at 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning I'm on the track timing myself running a 40 I'm in the weight room according to what my player my other players told me I'm in the weight room lifting weights before I go to a party I don't recall I don't remember I just know I always lift weights because they kept telling me I was too small they kept telling me I wasn't fast enough so everything every time they told me I wasn't good enough at something I worked ten times harder and when nobody was watching and that's why I call football my blessing because that's what happened from it I wanted to play college basketball that was it get a degree get out my mama house but from that hey God was like look here I'm going to give you a couple, couple, couple hundred thousand. Just go ahead and catch that ball for them. You catch that ball, they pay you a little bit more money. That's what happened. All I wanted to do was dunk on people. Don't discredit my daggone hard work. All the hard work I put in. All the time lifting. All the time running. All the time sprinting. All the time proving all y'all busters that y'all wasn't better than me. I was a little silly, a little dizzy, because I'm different. And I proved it because that one point, that 0.5 percent, I'm in it. NFL. How many NFL players do you know? How many from your neighborhood? I did it because of the hard work. Don't discredit my hard work. And I'm still putting in work because I got some more to prove. So don't let anybody discredit what you do. You got to put in the time. What you get into it is what you put out of it. That's what I tell my boys. Because some of them got talent and they don't want to work hard. And that's that new generation bull job. Y'all got to get out of that. Oh, I'm good. You only good in your neighborhood. Have you gone to Florida? Have you gone to Texas? Have you gone to California and went against the best? That became my mindset when I got to college. I heard Jerry Rice say one time. He said, I work so hard because I know somebody else is working just as hard. So my silly tale, I get up in the morning, lift weights. Get up in the afternoon, lift weights. Get up in the evening, lift weights. Then I got track and football practice. Don't discredit what I done did by saying, oh, it's just natural. Yeah, God gave me some ability, but on it, I worked hard. And I still work hard because I can't let it fall off. Now, the reason I work hard is to look good nigga. So, if you want to pick up a t-shirt, you can highlight me and pick up a <laughs> Now, I just have a personal strength, personal, personal training business, strength and conditioning. But I figure I'm a product of my, of my philosophies. I still live by them. But don't you ever discredit my ability, man. Don't discredit my hard work. Certain things is natural. You can develop an athlete. But they got to be willing to work hard for it. They got to want it more than anybody else. If you want it more than anything else, like say that one little, if you want it more than breathing, then you'll get it. You'll get it. Just keep working.